150 mobile handset brands in the Indian market and each promises something unique. The cheapest to the smartest to the coolest. So what does a player like Micromax do? I'm hungry, Aisha. It promises to give you what you need. That the team believes has helped it from the power battery in the powerless village to the dual sim. Now too, the company believes it has a cracker of a promise for its latest foray into the tablet space. Three months back, when we wanted to launch a tablet, again there were too many questions asked. That why a tablet? What what you know? What are the success stories of tablet worldwide? There's only one success story. There's only one success story, and that two in ten inches, seven inches. People have tried, but it's not a success success story. So we were being asked that what exactly do you want to do? I said this, you know, we again want to do a game changer stuff in this country and we will launch a tablet but we will launch it in, in a different style. So we launched a tablet, not as a hardware but as a software solution. We, we created the biggest exchange of education on the back end, you know, and, and, and started giving consumers right from kindergarten till their high school, all subjects, all books, whether it is NCRT, whether it is ICSE, whether it is state board. We, we tied up with some 39, 40 publishers on the back end and created the bigger exchange out here. In this country, if you have to attack the masses, if you have to give them, first you have to make a product which is going to help them in their day to day life somehow. If it is not going to help them, they are not going to adopt, adopt your solution. Second, it has to be value for money. It, when I say value for money, the product has to, you know, has to perform well. Sure. It has to, if, if it is not going to perform, then again the adoption is not going to happen. <laughs> In a way, the team at Micromax seems to have come full circle, moving from software to hardware and now back again. Making a conscious decision to stay away from the pricing game, the team here says that innovation and fulfilling a need is at the heart of every product it launches, from the talking phone Aisha to the edutainment tablet for the kids. What is a brand? What, what exactly Micromax means? You know. When you see a brand, you try to connect with that brand in, in one or the other way. So as a brand, we, we, are, we are always, our ethos is always like we are, we are fun, we are, we, you know, we are for the youngs, we are, we are an extro, extrovert, we are in your face sort of a brand. This means what we are targeting is, is the youth of this country, which is like 60% of the population is youth and that's what, that's what our tar target segmentation is. We want to create solutions which are going to help these, uh, you know, these uh, people aspire and and do the things what they want to do with with a sort of products with again value for money, but sort of different features in each and every product. But this is a shift, no? Because uh, at the end of the day, the crux of your success was rural and small town India, where you uh, created new segments. Which is, which is you most companies move from urban to rural. You move from rural to urban to youth, which is a reversal of sorts. No, which is which is true, but then the youth is not only about Delhi, Bombay, or Calcutta. The youth is all you know sitting all all across all across the India. The the topper of IIT is is not from Delhi or Bombay; is from Karnal. The topper for uh, you know for AIMS is is from uh, Tirumala, which is a which is a yeah. So the youth is sitting all across in in all small towns, and these if you give the you know tools to all 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 these all these guys, they are going to perform uh, you know uh, amazingly so this is what our tablet has done and this is what all our solutions intend to do hmm. so that is how we are creating our solution and so when we say we are targeting youth it doesn't mean like the urban youth it's like the youth of this country so you give them tools and they're they're going to perform just like the team at micromax now as the company tries to keep up its pace by launching new products every few months to try and cater to different segments it is also doing two other things, going up the branding curve and at the same time going international. As your business grows bigger, you try and de-risk, point number one. You always want a bigger flavor to come in and then the technology plays a big role. Um, a you know, market which is probably the second biggest in the world, but in terms of embracing the technology, we are much late than a lot of smaller nations across the world. Really? Like 3G in India, people talk about having come very, very late. Uh, already we are seeing trials of 4G happening up in India itself and we do not have a successful 3G rollout by most of the operators. Yes, we have had the licensing being given up at a great cost. Uh, the government has made good money out of that. Mm -hmm. But then 
with 3G being rolled up by the operators, we've already started talking about 4G and there are nations across the globe which have a, a sustainable and an established 4G technology. Mm -hmm. So are you saying that uh, going out makes keeps your ear closer to the ground on the changes? What it does is it gives us an exposure about devices which we could launch in India probably not now but probably six months later. It gives us that, that scale to experiment up in the other countries the similar way that we've done in India. And it's not a necessary phenomena that something which has succeeded in India only uh -huh. then it needs to go overseas. It could be a success overseas which is brought to India later on. So for example, if 3G is not stable in India right now, I'm saying if, if it is not stable, it, my, probably my, my foreign to Brazil gives me that access of 3G technology over there, launching a device over there and bringing it to India probably three months later. While going international allows Micromax to keep pace with change, this also entails big investments as the company sets new factories and enters markets like Hong Kong, Sri Lanka and Brazil. But the team realizes that given the high stakes, in this space, nimbleness is all that counts. It's an industry which keeps you on its toes. Um, you cannot sit back and relax on your laurels. You might have done great in a particular quarter or a particular year, but the next quarter or the next year is a new start. As long as you keep this fundamental well embraced, I think you've, not, you've got nothing to worry about the technology. It's something which gives you the next level of consumer, the next set of consumers. But the moment you start getting carried away by the success that you've had, by the success of a particular model or by the success of a particular genre, that's where you start you know, putting threats to the growth of the company actually. Mm -hmm. So when you see your big competitors, what are the learnings that you've taken away? And what are the things that you have done internally to make sure that you don't fall prey? I think um, you've got to embrace technology in toto. You've got to be innovative on the hardware. You've got to be innovative on the software. Be close to the consumer. Mm -hmm to really understand beyond the hardware and the software is there something that the consumer needs. And we got to appreciate that this industry has now become more like FMCG, right? So there are consumer needs which needs to be addressed by the portfolio you bring in. It's not a portfolio that you bring in and ask the consumer to choose from. It's a portfolio you create for your consumer. So this is not, uh, you know, uh, this is not medicines that you create a formulation and bring up to kill a disease. It's, it's a requirement, it's an aspiration that you have to, you know, fulfill. That has been the truth for the biggest players who have seen major ups and downs. But at Micromax, passion seems to be the driver as it looks to become one among the five largest mobile companies in the world over time. Will they do it? We could know within the next few years.